Welcome back to another NBA video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the resurgence of the Brooklyn Nets and how good they are actually right now. So the Brooklyn Nets in their last nine games just getting right into that have an eight and one record on the season right now they're 17 and 12 overall five games above 500 fourth place in the Eastern Conference but this is after things were very bad at the start. They started the season with nine wins and 11 losses nine and 11 but then with the coaching change they're 15 and 6 under Jackie Vaughn and he's for sure been a difference maker not only in the locker room but on the court as well it is paying dividends as in defensive efficiency they've went from 29th in the league so almost dead last to sixth their net efficiency from 28th to fifth and Kevin Durant he's putting up ridiculous numbers there's nothing new 30 points per game seven rebounds five assists he's leading the whole league in points he's leading the nets in points and in assists Kyrie is averaging 25 and they're also 10 and 3 since he's returned to the lineup so there's so many things that are going into this it's coaching it's their star players Ben Simmons he's also been coming along really nicely too he's definitely getting some confidence and kicking off the rust one thing Steve Nash said early in the season before he was fired is that Ben Simmons he was gonna have to kick off some rust but once he gained some confidence back then he would be back to the Ben Simmons that we know and he has been looking a little more confident so expect that to just slowly progress as the season goes on it's good to see him healthy and playing and then other role players have been making a big impact as well. Nicholas Claxton, his development has continued. Yuda Watanabe, he's been one of the better three-point shooters in the whole league. That's just definitely been an interesting development. Joe Harris, after basically missing all of last season due to injury, the former three-point contest champion is back. He's knocking down his shots. He's been doing his role for them. And then TJ Warren, after being out of the league for a couple years, he is contributing as well. So all of those guys, among some others as well, are contributing in a guy like cam thomas a backup point guard when the other guys are out he can go off for some big buckets markeith morris and others they have a deep team this year or they have a deep guys that are contributing right now and that was the problem last year in the playoffs when they got bounced and swept by the celtics they had no depth and no help it was just the kd and Kyrie show and for a team with a ton of negativity and drama surrounding them for whatever reason it was ben simmons Kyrie irving kevin durant requesting a trade this offseason with the ownership and then the Steve Nass situation they've sure turned a lot around in a short period of time now they're looking very good under Jackie Vaughn they've had the second best record in the east their defense is coming along Katie and Kyrie are playing well Ben Simmons is getting better role players are going well so let me know what you guys think what is the ceiling for this Brooklyn Nets team because although they've been playing super well when you look at the power rankings in the east it's hard to not put the teams like the Celtics and the Bucks in a different tier and I think rightfully so so because we saw what the Celtics did to them in the playoffs last year but let me know what you guys think how far can the Nets make it and how good are they